when COVID first came, everybody decided that COVID equaled market crash. If you're working a buyer and you show them trend graphics, this market is rocketing. Yeah. Rocketing. So if a buyer thinks they're going to get a deal or they're going to steal or anything along that line in that two to 500 range, clearly that's not happening. It is not happening. So you've got to be able to through data because no one wants to be told or sold. Yep. You need to show them like Romans teaching you through the data, what that looks like, how fast properties are selling, how the price is moving up. It's not moving down. And then there's going to be this really bizarre, interesting bubble by the end of July, because there's going to be a, an onslaught of closings, like a mass amount of closings that's going to show this quick lift in value. It's going to be a fast lift. It's, it's faster than we've seen in the past, Roman. I mean, at least from what I have seen. So I thought it was interesting, Brittany's social media post yesterday, uh, when she's giving value to, to, to the public, she talked about how, listen, COVID does not equal market crash. In essence, if you're going to have to agree to pay market value, you're going to have to compete in a multiple offer situation, and you're most likely going to have to put your best foot forward to be considered one in those five to nine offers. I'm hearing from agents on a daily basis. I just beat out five people. I beat out 10 offers. I beat out three offers. So we are not in a declining market. We are in a full-blown seller's market, <clears throat> except, except for the luxury condo seller who wants to move to a single family because they don't want to deal with the, all, all of the luxuries that were, which are now challenges because of COVID. 